Not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is providing a plan A, an opportunity where you can bring your children. If you feel like you can't take care of them, you ain't got a place to take them, you don't have a support system, we got a place that's gonna have. I'm like, you thought that I wasn't gonna try to get killed in this interview? Mm. Dr. Sebi's diet, right. <laughs> based off Dr. Sebi's diet, saving the 808 exists in the lowest chakra of your body. The majority of content that's related to the 808 is killer or sexual content. The original 808s was even off pitch. So that meant it's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there, a bigger, and it's like, man, you know, at this point, it's like they should have killed me when I said George Bush don't care about black people. I ain't got nothing to say. You know, they SNL making my wife say I divorced him on TV because they just wanted to get that bar off, and I ain't never even seen the papers. We not even divorced. Recently, the life and times of Kanye West have taken a much darker turn, mainly because Kanye is seemingly driven to go and do certain things despite it being, well, creepy. If you don't recall, somehow 2021 was pretty much dominated by the fact that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were splitting up, and many wondered what the fallout of it would be. At first, there wasn't anything. They actually got along great in their, quote, amicable state. But then Kim got together with Pete Davidson, and that seemed to flip a switch in Kanye, including whom he went out with and how he got her to look. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number five, Julia Fox. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian are finished, as we noted earlier, but it appears he's now trying to create a new version of his soon-to-be ex-wife, dressing new girlfriend Julia Fox top to bottom in Balenciaga, a brand that has become synonymous with Kim. Because yeah, why not, right? When you're Kanye. First, Julia was spotted on South Beach rocking a Balenciaga top. Fast forward to Tuesday night in NYC, Julia wore a blue coat to slave play on Broadway, but was in a much different look as she and Ye left dinner at Carbone. Julia was dressed almost head to toe in black Balenciaga, coat, gloves, purse, and top. And when she and Kanye piled into their SUV after dinner, we should note, Carbone is a favorite of Kim's. Interestingly enough, Julia seems to be a fan of Kim and her Skims brand, posing in the shapewear in the past. Not to mention she follows Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Kylie, Kendall, and Scott Disick on Instagram. Of course, Kim has almost exclusively been spotted in Balenciaga lately, from the Met Gala to her opening monologue look on SNL. Now, some out there might say that this is very much a coincidence, especially since this new girlfriend was clearly a fan of the Kardashians before she dated Kanye. But if you really think about it and you recall how Kanye has been acting since, well, for the last long while, do you really think he would allow any girlfriend of his to dress like him if he didn't absolutely want that? This is a message of sorts to Kim that he has someone who is like her or that he's still thinking about her even though he's with Julia. You can interpret it however you want. Number four, PDA for all to see. Kanye West is clearly working to send a message to Kim Kardashian, showing some PDA with Julia Fox less than 24 hours after Kim and Pete Davidson got cozy on their own date night not too long ago. Ye and Julia hit Delilah in West Hollywood with some of Kanye's famous friends one night. Inside, the two sat next to each other on a couch, vibing with the music played in the club. However, it's what happened outside that has everyone talking. As the two got ready to leave, Kanye planted a big kiss right on Julia's lips. It's not the first time we've seen the two share a little PDA. They literally did a whole photo shoot, but the timing of the kiss seems more than coincidental. Kim and Pete grabbed pizza and ice cream together the previous night, and it was during the ice cream run at Rite Aid when we saw the two loved up and cuddling. A huge sign things are getting serious. Kanye without a doubt saw those pics, so you gotta imagine there was a bit of a revenge factor that played into smooching Julia. And you might think, we're overthinking this, but are we? Especially when he did something like this very recently. Number three, PDA in Paris. The two appeared on photographer Daniel Levitt's Instagram account on Friday, engaged in an open mouth kiss while Fox had her arms around West's shoulders. Fox wore a futuristic fuchsia one shoulder dress along with edgy eye makeup while West donned a black jacket with a gray hoodie and a pair of striking ice blue color contacts. 
Other photos in the gallery showed Ye with his armor on Fox's waist, as well as an image of the pair seated on a banquet alongside other guests. According to the photo's caption, the pair were at a dinner in Paris, France, with other notable personalities in attendance and visible in the pictures, including Most Def as well as Pusha T. So not only is Kanye showing off his new girlfriend to the press, he's making sure those in his inner circle, if you will, know about her as well showcasing how popular she is, even though the model isn't as high profile as Kim. Though of course, the irony is that Kanye wants Kim back, and he's happily admitted as much. Number 2. Run Back To Me Kanye West has been making very public pleas for reconciliation to his estranged wife for a while now, and so a pattern is further birthed because of this. While performing at the Free Larry Hoover concert at the Los Angeles Coliseum, West dedicated his song Runaway to Kardashian. After singing the lyrics, I need you to run right back to me, baby, the rapper added, more specifically Kimberly. Kim attended the concert with her sister Kendall Jenner and her mom Kris Jenner. She also brought along two of her children, whom she shares with West, North, age 8, and Saint, age 6. Kardashian, West, and Kanye also are parents to daughter Chicago, age 4, and son Sam, age 2. West's onstage proclamation comes after the Yeezy designer posted a 5-minute Thanksgiving prayer to his Instagram last year, in which he opened up about his regrets and his wish to reunite his family. All I think about every day is how I get my family back together and how I heal the pain that I've caused, he said at the time. I take accountability for my actions. New word alert, misactions. The one thing that all my successes and failures have in common is me. West also detailed some of his misactions, including his hair trigger temper, which he said was heightened by alcohol and his manic episodes, referring to his bipolar disorder, which he said his family had to endure. West also owned up to the mistakes he made while married to Kardashian during the Los Angeles Missions annual Thanksgiving event last year. In a speech delivered at the charity event, West told the crowd, the narrative God wants is to see that we can be redeemed in all these relationships. He added, We've made mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've publicly done things that were not acceptable as a husband. But right now, today, for whatever reason, I didn't know I was going to be in front of this mic. But I'm here to change the narrative. And I ain't never even seen the papers. We're not even divorced. Wes said, adding, That ain't no joke to me. My kids want their parents to stay together. I want us to be together. This sentiment is now added upon via the house buying that he did, where he bought a house literally across the street from where Kim lives, and the girlfriend dressing and who knows what else Kanye has in his mind next to try and get Kim back. Oh, we do know one thing, he's trying to disparage Pete Davidson, and as such, but that shouldn't be too surprising given that it's Kanye. Number 1. Kim's Reaction So what is Kim's reaction to all of this? Well, she's honestly been taking the high road for all of it. No, really. Since the start, Kim has been supportive of the split from Kanye and him dating other women. He's dated three people since the divorce, with Julia being number three, and has even gone on record to say that as long as they make him happy, she's happy for him. But when Kanye started acting out and making pleas and insulting Pete Davidson, complete with a diss and a rap track, Kim did make it clear that she was unamused and even downright upset about what Kanye was doing, even going so far as to say via sources that she was ignoring Kanye's outbursts and tantrums because she knows that's the only way to get through, that nothing is going to happen again between them. Granted, this has become harder to do via the antics of West, but Kim has stayed the course. She hasn't made a major public statement about Kanye because she's still trying to respect and support him in her own way, but she is happy without him and is more than happy to be with Pete Davidson. And so the idea of them getting back together, especially after all of this, is very unlikely indeed. And there you have it, everyone. A look at what's going on with Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and Julia Fox. Are you surprised that Kanye is going this far with how he's presenting himself and Julia to the media? Or did you honestly expect something like this to happen? Are you glad that Kim is taking the high road and ignoring what Kanye is doing? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.